so I'm doing a little bit better from the car accident. If you want an update on my injuries and like physical therapy and stuff, um, tell me or like this video and I'll try to make an embed at Pedro. But also if you do want to see a review and like a demo on some Jeffree Star cosmetics, um, please do tell me that you want to see those. So that is the little intro, but today's video is going to be a sunglasses collection video. I know I kind of did one of these. My collection has grown a little bit more than what I had before. I think I only had maybe like four pairs in there, like, you know, like two or three, like non-designer ones, but this is basically a sunglass collection video, so hopefully you'll enjoy it. So these sunglasses are from Amazon. I did get these, I think, I think two years ago. I don't know. I think whenever the art rave was, because I think I was going to wear these to the art rave, but I don't think I ever did. I don't think I took sunglasses to the art rave. But um, this is from, I guess, the company or the brand, um, Style Vault off of Amazon. I think they're only like, I think $3 at most. I mean, they're a very cheap pair of sunglasses in price. And I don't know, I like them. So they gave me their own little, like, I guess, dust bag, you want to say. And this is how they look. They kind of like give me like a John Lennon vibe. But if you know um, Lady Gaga during, I think, Venus and stuff like that, like she always had like these bug eye kind of sunglasses. And it has a very thin frame on the side. And I don't know, I like these. They're so cool. And up close, I don't know, I, they're pretty cool to me. I like them, they're big, they kind of remind me of my Madonna for Versace's in a way, like with the big lens, like the bug-eyed look. But I, I don't know, these are pretty cool to me. I like these. They're not really a pair that I reach for the most, because you know, they're kind of like different, I guess. But I don't know, I like them again overall, they're just really cool. They also kind of look like some kind of crazy mad scientist thing. So again, these are from Style Vault off of Amazon, and I'm pretty <laughs> If you do remember these from my vlogs and what Mr. Robot sent me, you don't you do know that these are a pair of sunglasses that I really, really, really adore. And I keep them in this like Oakley thing because I remember we went to Oakley one time and my brother was buying sunglasses or something. It was like a long time ago that I got the little sleeve and I was just like, well, I guess why not, you know? And then it came in handy eventually. So these are my sunglasses that I got sent from Who is Mr. Robot. Um, if you haven't already seen July 13th, season 2 comes in, I'm excited to do recaps for the episodes and everything like that, and to see Rami Malek again, but, um, basically, it just says Mr. Robot in USA on one side, and I did go to South by Southwest, so if you haven't seen that vlog, go ahead and see it, and to me, these are kind of like a Ray-Ban kind of looking, you know, has like that Wayfair kind of look, and I don't know, I never thought that look was for me, but wearing these, I was like, these are, we can pull these off, do you think so? Thumbs up, like, <laughs> Do something, but of course they say Mr. Robot USA on one side. Kind of wish they would have said it on both sides or something, but I don't know. It's pretty cool either way, and you know I'm pretty sure they knew me. Like I like sunglasses, so these are the Mr. Robot USA sunglasses. I I love these. Can't keep my hands to myself. No matter how hard I'm trying to, I want you all to myself. This pair is a pair from Amber Rose Eyewear. I do have two pairs of these. I believe this style is called the Gloria. It is a clear frame, and in the pictures, it look almost clear and like a, I want to say like a very golden yellow, kind of like that gold yellow Oakley lens kind of reflective material. I thought that's what it was. But when it came in, it is translucent, but this is the case that Amber Rose Eyewear comes in, has her little logo here. I like the logo, and this is a vegan leather case, so that's pretty cool, you know, kind of give you a leather case. Um, these were, I think... $50 regular, but I got these two pairs for, I think, $32 or $33, because there was a sale, and I know there's a sale going on, the Mother's Day sale. Um, I think that's 30% off on a free pair of the next pair of sunglasses that I'll show you, but um, it's a clear frame all over, again. Um, her logo is here. Um, how can I show you this? I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but the logo is somewhere there. Maybe you'll see it better on the other side, but they do say I'm on the inside. You're you really can't see that. But um, because it's clear, you can kind of see it from the outside, but of course it's going to be like almost, yeah, it's going to be backwards. But this is what they look like on, I don't know, I kind of like these. At first I was like, because mm, you know, I thought these were going to be reflective, like Oakley's and stuff, but I was like, I don't know, I kind of, these kind of grow on me. And I thought like, kind of like another pair of sunglasses in here, I was like, oh, I can wear these out when, you know, I'm, I won't be that afraid to lose them and I won't be that bummed out as opposed to designer pairs. But I like these either way, you know, I think kind of like the old people look of these lenses are kind of like 
different for me. I don't know. I like them. They're pretty cool. Again, as repetitive as I am, they're just, they're an interesting pair for me. You know, a clear pair of sunglasses. I never thought I would, but Amber Rose got me to wear these and again, comes in a vegan leather case. the second pair of Amber Rose eyewear that I was telling you. I believe these are called the Marilyn, or maybe I'm just making it up, but I always think of myself as Marilyn Monroe and JFK. And these are really cool. These are red on red, and oh my god, everything looks really almost vibrant. <laughs> I really don't know the word, what to say. Like, when I put these on, I was like, oh. Because, <laughs> you know, like, you see, like, right around, you're like, okay, it's not really gonna be, like, that crazy as compared to my Bulgari ones, but I was like, oh. <laughs> Again, when I put these on, I was like, this this is intense this is intense and i'll show you guys in a second but i don't know these are kind of fun kind of like sunglasses again i feel like marilyn monroe like after she just got like i don't know after she just got on her knees for jfk but they're a pretty cool pair of sunglasses like and i didn't also think like red was an amate i know no amber rose even says oh i forgot to show you it is engraved amber rose on the lenses and stuff like that and let me show you on the side will you be able to see it yeah you should be um, she said, like, she never saw, like, a red-on-red -red pair of sunglasses, and she said, well, I never saw one, so I might as well make my own, so I guess this is a unique piece that, you know, Amber Rose wanted, so it's something she wanted, something she created, so I'm pretty sure you'll like these. So, hopefully you will be able to see, I really don't think you're gonna be able to see it. Dang it. But there's, like, a little logo right there, basically what was on the sunglass case, and right there it says Amber Rose on the inside, so it's cool, and let's see if you can see it on the lens. It says right there in the corner. So, I don't know. These are a really interesting pair of sunglasses. I like them. Oh, and getting to it. I mean, you kind of probably already saw it, but this is what you're going to see when you put these on. Like, it is intense red. Like, it's probably looking, like, a little bit dark, but it is intense when you put these on. Like, it is, like, a vibrant red. Like, it's crazy. It's almost neon, I think. <laughs> but I like these pairs of sunglasses. They're pretty cool. It's, of course, Amber Rose always has, like, the craziest, like, sunglasses and stuff like that, and... I wish I would have had that pair that I think she wore at the American Music Awards or something, but what can you do? But again, vegan leather case. Um, I think they usually retail for about $50, but I know there's a sale going on, so if you can get your hands on some Amber Rose eyewear, I really suggest it. next three pairs of sunglasses that I'm going to show you are all from Bulgari. Um, it's like the Serpenti, Serpentine collection. I don't know. Um, but I was always, always, always on the hunt for these sunglasses at Sunglass Hut and stuff like this. And I always saw them, but of course Bulgari is really expensive. And um, I don't know, it took me like about a couple of years that I had seen these and I was like, I really want these. And um, I finally found them at Neiman Marcus and everything like that, and I was just like, you know what, I said, might as well just get them, because if I don't get them now, I'm always gonna never getting them, so I got three pairs. It's basically the same design, just three different colors, and I don't know, I really, I really feel like a superstar or something when I wear these, I really don't know, it's, it's interesting, but... The weird thing is that they didn't have the cases for them, so I don't know if that's ever happened to you. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in a video, but I, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I just mentioned it on Snapchat, but they gave me a Karen Walker sunglass case, or eyewear case, I really don't know. And at first I thought this was like a Tiffany's thing, because it kind of looks like a Tiffany blue. I mean, not really when I look at it more. Um, but like, you know, I was just like, oh, Karen Walker eyewear, you know, I was just like, okay. I was like, I don't know who the hell is. But I was like, they kind of match the case better. Let me show you, so... This is kind of what they look like in the case, and I was like, okay, you know, it kind of matches. It looks cool, you know, like a aquatic color. Kind of reminds me of Max Fragrance Turquatic or something like that. But this is the side Bulgari. I I adore these because now Bulgari comes out with those really big bejeweled ones and stuff. And they kind of look fake or whatever. I don't know. They don't look that cool. But I I I die for these, you guys. And I kind of like the gradient lens, and I kind of don't because I'm used to like such dark ones when I go out. But on cloudy days and stuff, this is really cool. And I don't know, they they've grown on me. I really. I really do like these sunglasses. I'm nothing will ever compare to my Versace for Lady Gaga sunglasses except these. I think like these Bulgari ones, not specifically this color, but like just my Bulgari sunglasses. Like I love them, and of course they're expensive and stuff, so why not? But this is how they look like, and they do say Bulgari there. You can kind of see that in the reflection. So if you can get that close, 
is Bulgari there, and I, I adore these sunglasses, you guys. Again, I love them, so that is the first pair of Bulgari sunglasses. <laughs> Second pair of Bulgari sunglasses, of course, I purchased on the same day, and they're given to me in the same Karen Walker eyewear case, which was a little like, because I want Bulgari sunglass cases. And I know you can buy them on Amazon, but I'm like, I wanted them. Because you know, like, if you spend that much for Bulgari, you know, and I've gone to sunglass sentence, I'm like, can you guys exchange it or something? I'm like, no. And then Neiman Marcus, well, my Neiman Marcus doesn't have, like, Bulgari anymore. Like, they took out a lot of designer stuff and so did Nordstrom's. I'm like, well, there goes my chance. But, um, this is the second pair. Like I said, it was basically the same thing, just a different color. The only difference is that this one has, like, little golden tips at the end and stuff like this. And they kind of look Christmassy or something, but I like them. And they're in red. And this is, like, almost like the red on red that I was talking about with my Amber Rose ones. And here's, like, the little golden tip at the end. And if you can kind of see, there's some redness to it if I do that. But, um, overall, these aren't that much of a deep red, like the Amber Rose ones. Like, when you put on the Amber Rose ones, you're gonna notice, like, it's very, very red. Like, you're literally seeing red. Um, but these ones, you don't really see red. I think it's kind of more like a, a red mixed with a dark brown. And these are kind of the same as the other ones where the frame is almost translucent. Of course, the green ones or the bluish ones have, like, a blue-green-brownish tint to it. These ones are kind of more, I believe, just of a, yeah, it's just kind of a... A red tint, I believe, overall. And I, I adore these sunglasses. So that was the Bulgari ones in red. I, oof, these are amazing sunglasses, you guys. Bulgari just has some pretty cool sunglasses, you know? Versace has very unique ones, but these ones are pretty, like, stylish and cool. I'm pretty sure you can kind of pull them off with almost anything, especially for Christmas if you wanted to pull these off. Red and green, you know, you can never go wrong with Christmas. <laughs> third pairs of Bulgari's um again they did not have the sunglass case for them and I bought the first two like two or three weeks before I had went back like spontaneously and bought these ones because I saw them I kept thinking about them I was like <sighs> I'm like just get them you know like just just buy the Bulgari sunglasses <laughs> um I don't know I really like these and I swear to God, there was another pair that I had saw that I was thinking about, and I didn't see them, or maybe I was just thinking of these ones, but, um, they gave me these in a Tom Ford case, which was pretty cool, I don't know, at first I was like, uh, but, it, like, it's a very soft, like, velvet thing, and I think, like, the sunglass cleaner for Tom Ford is, like, pretty cool, but this is what they look like in, so that was pretty interesting that they did a brown on brown, the sales associate there, he, he was really helpful, it was the same one that helped me when I bought the first two, and again, same thing, of course, just no golden tips, on these ones but this is like the brown bulgaris and i was just like when i saw these i was just like you know what i'm like i'm buying them whatever go to hell whoever tells me you spend too much money <laughs> but um yeah i really like these sunglasses you guys i i love them i love them and these ones are of course i think the darkest ones out of the three you know i think is this one the red one and then the green one of course with the gradient but i i don't know i like these for really bright sunny days and wearing the shirt, I think the shirt was the most almost versatile with the color combinations of all my shirts, you know. So this is the reason why I chose to wear the shirt for this specific video. Because I think the sunglass colors kind of complement each other, you know, a little bit. I mean, not like a perfect match match or like an unmatched match. But, you know, you, you guys know what I mean. <laughs> but these are really cool. I really like these. And these almost give me like a Lana Del Rey vibe, hence the shirt. Bitch, you canceled the show. Um... <laughs> But I was like, I want to wear these when I find my sugar daddy or something and just be like, buy me a Chanel flat. Or something, I don't know. <laughs> but again, these are the third pair of Bulgari's in brown, and I love these. Here is the Marc Jacobs pair. I bought these when I think Miley Cyrus did the Marc Jacobs campaign and I was looking for like the Miley Cyrus Marc Jacobs sunglasses that she wore in the ad because that's usually um, what propels me, I guess, or pushes me to go and buy sunglasses as you will see with my Versace ones. I don't really know, but I saw these and I was like, you know what, they're not that bad. I was like, they're pretty cool. Um, 
kind of like with the amber rose ones like if i lost these or they broke i wouldn't be as bummed as opposed to my other sunglasses so with my amber rose i wear um the style vault one and these ones i'm pretty sure like i I'm pretty sure you've seen me wear these in one of my vlogs when I've gone to Six Flags with my friends and stuff, but I like these. And this is the case that they came in marked by Marc Jacobs. I like this and I don't. It kind of reminds me of a saddle and kind of like a big happy face or something. But I'm pretty sure you've seen these in vlogs and stuff like that. And I mean, like, again, if I ever lost these or something, they really wouldn't bum me out. But I like these. They kind of have, like, that Lady Gaga kind of thing where, you know, it's kind of like when she had that big, you know... I will go few, 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 like a robot or something. Reminds me of those kinds of sunglasses, but um, of course, at Marc Jacobs and stuff like that. So this is what they look like on. I, I don't know. I like these, but again, like if I were to lose these, wouldn't bum me out too much. And the blue and black stripes, I was like, mm. I was like, I was like, it's not gonna match a lot of things. But then I was like, I like them. I really do. Lady Gaga and Versace. Um, again, this is an Oakley case that they bought separate. And these were the Lady Gaga Fame sunglasses. Um, if you do remember, I think Macy's and Dillard's were the two that had it. I don't think Ulta or like Sephora ever carried them, but it was like a gift of purchase. So if you bought Fame by Lady Gaga, the big bottle and stuff, um, you could get the vanity case, the fake nails, these sunglasses, and I think that's it. And I got the sunglasses because I had already gotten the vanity and I had already gotten like the black soap bars and everything like that. And I do have the fake nails. But I was like, I need these sunglasses. You know, like I think that's kind of what started me. I think these were the first pair of sunglasses that I really got. I could be wrong. But I think these were like the first ones. And then like I went to free of a purchase to Lady Gaga for Versace's in like less than a year or something like that. I don't know. It was crazy. But these are the ones. This is like the iconic Lady Gaga like cat eye like bitch effect i don't know they're like a squared cat eye and like if you ever remember gaga wearing these i want to say maybe in gaga vision or something like that maybe like with the polaroids or something um this is kind of like the sunglasses she would wear with the cat eyes and stuff and i adored these sunglasses i thought it was so cool especially with my spiky hair and my face was a mess but <laughs> um these were really interesting and amazing to me and i adored these and i remember when i put them on the laces it's like i feel like a superstar bitch and i don't know i adore these sunglasses again like all my sunglasses i just like these do i wear them as much not really because i do feel they're just a little bit too small for my face you know and i don't know if it's like the squared look or something that kind of doesn't really match up my face shape but sometimes i feel like they're just a little too small but i love them either way and they're lady gaga sunglasses like a a memorabilia or something like that i don't know i love them so if you have these tell me down below if you have these because they're just they're pretty cool into the versace section of my sunglass collection um, like I said, Lady Gaga for Versace. I think these were the first Versace sunglasses I ever purchased. I think that's what I meant. And I, I don't know, I really, I really, I remember seeing these when I went to my dental convention with my friends and I was like, I'm going to get those sunglasses. And I took a picture of them. I don't think the picture is on my Instagram anymore because sometimes I delete old photos because, I don't know, going over 400 seems weird to me. Um, or if you ever delete photos, tell me. And I remember seeing them in like that brown tortoise shell kind of design and I really didn't like them but I was like well they're kind of cool because they can kind of pass as black not really but you know and I was just like but they're too brown and stuff but I remember taking a picture and I was like put them on let them stare was like the tagline that Sunglass Hut had at that time for these or something like that and I took a picture and I was like I'm gonna come back for these I'm gonna get these sunglasses like whatever it takes you know I don't know how many sugar daddies I have to sleep with but I'm gonna get these sunglasses and I do have the ad like up there on my window and stuff like this and I feel like I reviewed these sunglasses, but I, I still can't find the video for that. So I'm always like, did I review them or did I just like not film myself? <laughs> um, but again, these were the Versace for, well, Lady Gaga for Versace sunglasses. They came in a white case. Of course, the case is a little dirty because I do wear these like almost religiously. Like anyone who knows me knows I wear these sunglasses like a lot. And I always have so many pictures of myself in these because I just adore them. So these are the Lady Gaga for Versace sunglasses. I love these. So this is what they look like. I... Oh my god, I remember going to sunglasses out with my parents and buying them, and I was like, 
but this is the side and I remember being like why is there no Medusa head but then I was like okay this is a really unique style like I think with the way it says Versace and the golden hardware and the golden studs surrounding it it's just so cool and and see, I think maybe because this is like a bit more oversized and oval, I think this matches my face shape a little bit more as opposed to the regular Lady Gaga at Macy's. And I think just because I have a big face or something, I really do think that these ones kind of just complement my face the most. And I think I pull them off better than her. <laughs> but um, that was my little Brent McRock impression. I've been watching a lot of his Instagram videos and stuff. But I I like these. Like, if you see me and some people are like, oh, he's like, oh, nice sunglasses. Or like, oh, cool shades. Or like, petrol. <laughs> you know, like, I just, I adore these sunglasses. I really like these, so. Another iconic star who partnered with Versace, um, I remember seeing these, and I think it was just kind of like Lady Gaga Madonna, and I was just like, oh, you know, and I was like, I'll just get them for fun or something, but then I was like, I like Madonna. And um, I do have the ad for this one. Um, a lady at Sunglass Hut gave them to me. If you've seen, what was the last video? I don't know, the videos that I filmed where my room was in the background before I, like, tried to play around, I guess, with my room or something or where I would film, um, you would notice that that ad was in the back, so... These are the Madonna for Versace sunglasses. They're so cool. They're like, this is as close to a Ray-Ban as I got <laughs> before Mr. Robot sent me those kind of like wafer kind of designs. And I just, I love these sunglasses. They're so cool. And they're not as dark. I'd kind of say they're kind of, huh, not sure. Like I'd say almost of the gradient of the bluish green Bulgari sunglasses. So, there are these ones, and I like them. I kind of use these also for kind of overcasty, not too shiny, I mean, not too shiny, not too sunny days, and such like that. So, I don't know, I like them. They're so cool, and I think the three coins on the side really caught my attention. I was like, that is an interesting look. And I know they've kind of made, like, spin-offs of this, and as well as the Lady Gaga ones that I see, and I'm like, oh, those are so cool, and I want them. But, I don't know, I think because, like, I see these in the big ads and posters, and I'm just like, I want to be that hoe. So these were the Madonna for Versace. These were the first ones that I think she did, and I'll show you the second ones in a bit. So the second pair of Madonna for Versace's that I got, you would have seen these in my Dean's List Outfit of the Day video. And the Mr. Robot South by Southwest vlog, because I put these on after people kept asking about the Mr. Robot sunglasses, and I was like getting so like, oh, I feel like someone's gonna like snatch them off my face or something. And I was like, bitch, they sent me those. Um, but these were the second pair that I wore that day, and I think those are the only videos I wore them in. I'm not completely sure. Um, but these were like the second Madonna ones that I got and stuff like this. So I think the big Medusa head on the side, of course, really got me. And also just the big bug eye effect and almost like the style vault ones i was just like i don't know that big bug eye like it's just almost like a gimmicky kind of stupid look that most people would say but i love them i think they're really cool they're very like i take myself seriously but i'm having fun i don't know they're they're interesting for me i like them and i just of course i i, I don't know they're really big they kind of cover you also from the sides if you want to side eye a bitch like she can't even test you and stuff like that and it's kind of just like or you can be like, I don't know, they're really cool sunglasses. I like them. They're fairly big. And just the big Medusa head on the side is just like, whoa, bitch, I'm Versace. <laughs> so, I don't know. These are the second Madonna for Versace ones. She Versace's um I saw Rihanna wear these um she was dressed in like kind of like how Nicki Minaj was dressed in her pound the alarm music video where she has like those like feathers and stuff like that and I don't remember what it was for but I remember seeing a picture of her in these and I was like bitch stole my look because <laughs> I bought these and I was like oh Rihanna you fucking whore <laughs> not really I love her um but I was just like work 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 but I saw these and I remember my dad was like wow these are so cool like I want these and stuff and I was like I so I bought these and I was just like, yeah, bitch, you know, and I don't know. These ones came in a black case though with gold and I had never seen these. I thought they were always going to come in white. 
Um, I don't know if they've changed Versace sunglasses, like, stuff like that, because I haven't bought, like... Well, I've seen... It's like a square almost thing that has a different case, and I love that case so much. But I don't know if you've ever noticed that Sunglass Hut, almost like with Neiman's and stuff like that, how they give me different sunglass case. Um, they usually never give you like the right box for the sunglasses you buy. They just grab a box out of the Versace box like they say, and they just give that to you, and I'm just like, not really going to be able to afford this later. But um, I mean, if you get past that and you just want your sunglasses, well, you got your sunglasses. <laughs> but I... I think the story behind these was like something like a mermaid or something like that. And I adore these on. They're like really big shield sunglasses. And the design on the side too, and even right here, I thought like maybe you should have put a Medusa head. But then I was like, maybe too much, maybe too little the more you stare at them. I don't know, but they're just so cool. And just the side, just this Medusa head here. It's just, and it kind of like disappears if it gets into your hairline if you have dark hair like I do. But I love these. And just that side, yes, bitch, yes. Like, oh, they're so cool, so. These are, I guess, the Rihanna for Versace, so if you want to call that. Claire, I saw on Jeffree Star specifically, which is why I wanted to get these. And also, they're kind of like the Prada version of the Lady Gaga for Versace's. I kind of like how the studs go all around on this one, but I do think they fit better on this one as opposed to the Lady Gaga for Versace. So these are Prada's. You probably won't be able to see it. And I, oh my God, these were so cool. When I, I was walking around the store, I was looking for a Bulgari fragrance and then I was like, okay, I'll get this. And then I was like, okay, I see some EOS stuff here. And then I was like, oh, like I saw these Dolce & Gabbana's. Um, which ones are they? It's like a red with like a gold flake in it. But then I saw these other Prada's. And I don't know if you've ever seen them, but it's like a solid color and then they have like big crystal chunks on them and it was like, I think blue with yellow or yellow with blue. And there's like a green with blue or a blue with green and I was like, mm. like, the gimmick gets me and I was like, okay, I guess I could wear those. But then I was like, no, let me just get the Dolce & Gabbana's and the red and gold. But then I was like, Ugh. like I wanted them, but I didn't want them. I'm so glad I did not swipe my card and leave the store before <laughs> I saw these. And it's funny because these were right in front of the store, like right where you walk in. Literally, it's like, 40 pairs of these like probably like about 10 to 13 every style except the black there's only two or one black I don't really remember I want to say two but I could be wrong and it was like in the square shape ones with the black and I wanted to get those so bad because they were black but then I said they're not in this style but then I was thinking I said well that's what I thought with the Madonna ones but I know this part is very long but I saw these and I saw Jeffree Stars and I was like I saw a Jeffree Star post, it was, I think, almost a year ago, and I was like, I really wanted them. Again, I got them mostly because of Jeffree Star, so Jeffree Star, if you're watching this. Um, and these are the Pradas. <sighs> Let me just talk. I love these. I really do love these. I adore these. They're like, again, like I said, the Lady Gaga from Versace, but they're kind of like a... <laughs> kind of like curve to them on the arms of these sunglasses. And they do say Prada on the side, like... <sighs> I love these, and at first I thought it was just like this, like the Lady Gaga ones, but they kind of have like a, kind of like a little, I don't know what you would say, like a roof to them or something like that, that are here. So it's not really just like a flat slab, it kind of just like does a little more, and as you can see the studs kind of come in here, and um, since I had so many of these, there is one pair that had like a stud missing, and I almost got that one, but then when I was looking, I was like, oh shit, that one is missing a stud. <laughs> and then I got these, and I was like inspecting them, I was like, which ones are not missing a stud or something? But um, one thing I do want to tell you is that I did not pay full price for these ones at Nordstrom Direct, obviously you put it. But I think the regular price is almost like a couple hundred dollars, maybe like 300 or 400 dollars. I don't really remember, like, with the Bulgaris. Uh, but I knew these ones would be expensive from Jeffree Star, but... I got these, I think, for only $108, and I was like... Yeah, so I hope you like my sunglass collection video. So if... Some parts seem a little out of place. That's only because I kind of like pre-filmed the other parts. So if I kind of like put certain stuff and you're kind of like, wait, what? <laughs> At certain points, it's only because, you know, again, I like film these kind of weird. 
But um, I really hope you like these sunglass sun my sunglass collection video. And please tell me which sunglasses you have that I have or which ones I have that you want or something like that, you know, and just tell me and like share your favorite sunglasses or something. And um, tell me if you have a video of your sunglass collection videos because I just sometimes just go through sunglasses and that's how I find sunglasses that I want or like, you know. But <laughs> I just, sometimes I just stay up to like all night basically just going through sunglass collection videos. I don't know why. <laughs> and that is how I found Super Day Gibbs video. And, um... I don't know, if you like these sunglasses, um, tell me which ones you liked. Again, like, rate, share, comment, subscribe. And also, sign up for emails and, like, all these alerts from, like, stores and you can get discounts from that. Um, always try to keep an eye every time you go to bed stores, see if they're having a sale that day. So you can kind of double up on the sales or stuff like that. Sometimes they don't, but, you know, most of the time they may be like, okay. Because I know with, um, some stores they'll be like, oh, you know, it's always, like, this percent off of the sticker price or something. And then if you add something on top of it, they're like, oh, okay, you can do that, or stuff like that. Or they have a bigger discount that you can get, like, instead of, like, let's say 30%, you have a 40% off, they'll give you 40% off and something. And, you know, you can just do that to kind of get your sunglasses cheaper. A handful of these I paid full price for. Some of them I did not pay full price for. I got these discounted, I got these on sale, you know, stuff like that, you know, birthdays, whatever, you know. Like I said, with sunglass huts, like, when they give you, like, a birthday coupon every month, you know, just go into all these sunglass huts until you find the pair that you want and stuff like that. Shop smart and shop with coupons and just find your style on sunglasses and don't be afraid to try out different colors of sunglasses and stuff like that like don't just stick to black like I, I thought I would you know I got clear I got white I got black I got big ones that are almost like a shield I got bug-eyed ones and stuff like that like I have these I think I have a pretty unique collection that is very true to myself and stuff like that but express yourself in all kinds of fashion but I hope you really 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 liked my sunglass collection video. If you had seen the previous one with my jewelry then you would have known that I think it grew very tremendously because this video took a while to edit and put together. But I really again hope you really like this sunglass collection video. And anywho, don't forget to watch Mr. Robot season 2 when it returns July 13th if you're in the States. Um, if you're overseas and stuff, or even here in the States still, go to Target or Best Buy or something, find Season 1 on DVD, even go to the Mr. Robot website or the USA store, and you can buy a Season 1 on DVD or Blu-ray, even Amazon as well has them. And you can even stream it online on their website. And also, as well, when you tune into Season 2, don't forget that I'll be recapping the whole season like I did with the first season. So hopefully there's not too, too many episodes or something like that that... The semester will start and I won't be able to recap them as fast, you know, overnight or something like that. But, ooh, again, I hope you really, I hope you really, really, really tune into Mr. Robot Season 2 when you see my Mr. Robot South by Southwest vlogs and everything like that. Then you'll know why I'm excited and everything. But, again, anywho, I want to say hi to Rami Malik and stay safe and God bless. And Rami Malik, if you liked me in any of these frames of sunglasses, I'll wear them for you, you know. I'll be your little sugar baby. <laughs> but again, hi to Rami Malik. Stay safe and God bless you guys.